Hey everyone, Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm talking with Skyler about his 2010 F-150 FX4. It's a four-wheel drive truck with the 5.4 Triton V8. For wheels, he's running the fuel cleavers in gloss black with the milled finish. These are 20 by 10s with a negative 18 offset, making for a very aggressive stance. For tires, he's running the Atiro Trailblade XT multi-terrains, and they are 35 by 12 and a half inch size. And for suspension, he's got a Rough Country 6-inch suspension lift kit with lifted struts and V2 monotube shocks. So Skylar, welcome. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm excited to talk about the truck. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Just kind of a general thing to start us off. What made you choose this kind of setup? I've always loved the F-150s. I was actually looking for a diesel, but price range just wasn't in my ballpark. So a friend of my dad's had this for sale. I went and looked at it and it was of course, it was completely stock when I went and looked at it, and in the last year, it has become what it is. Let's kind of jump to your wheels then. So again, for wheels, you're running the Fuel Wheels Cleaver in gloss black with a milled finish. These are six lugs, obviously, to fit the truck, and they are 20 by 10 with a negative 18 offset. So that makes for a very aggressive stance with quite a bit of poke. So what, what did you like about this? What drew you to it? The cleavers have always caught my eye. When I had the chance to do it with the F-150, I was I, I pulled the trigger because they, they are awesome. I love the way they kind of look like a saw blade. And I wanted to go something that was gonna stand out from the finish that's on my truck after the wrap. So from the beginning that I was gonna have my truck wrapped and it's a matte finish. So I thought the glass, the glossy finish would um, make it stand out. So safe to say then you uh, you like the way this looks on the truck then. I love it. Again, this is what we would classify as a very aggressive stance because you've got quite a bit of poke from the fenders, which it makes for a really cool look. What made you go with that with an offset? Actually, a friend of mine, he had the same offset on his truck, and I know I wanted something to come out. I didn't wasn't sure how big, and then we were looking at wheels and fender flares at the same time, and he was trying to point me in the right direction of what was going to be out enough for these aggressive flares to cover them because I, I don't like the look of wheels sticking out beyond the vehicle with nothing covering. And plus, when you have a wrap on your vehicle, you got to have something that's going to protect that wrap because if you don't have them flares on there, you can mess it up pretty easily. And so again, for tires, you're running the Aturo Trailblade XT multi-terrain tire, and these are 35 by 12 and a half. What made you choose this size? The guy that helped me with the lift and stuff, I was like, how big can we go? I mean, if I could have went bigger, I'd have went bigger. As far as the 20 inch wheel went, I think it was more price range. You know, once you jump up into the 22s and stuff, they get pretty salty. So I still, I definitely wanted to go bigger, something that was gonna stand out. Then with the tires, I wanted them to look aggressive. You know, the same setup with 20 inch rims with 35s on them and I just, uh, you know, that's the look that I was looking for. And then the Aturos, they got some great tread. They're good on the road. There's not a whole lot of road noise. I mean, there is road noise. I'm not going to lie to you, but compared to some of the other tires that I've ridden before, they're decent. They really are. These are kind of interesting. And I, I like when these come up because they just like the manufacturer describes them as sort of a, a hybrid where they're not quite an all terrain, but they're not quite a mud terrain. So it sounds like it struck a nice balance for you. So here's the big question then, because you went right from the stock setup to these. How would you compare the ride and the noise to the stock setup? It was a big change. I'm, that's that's so definite, but not enough to make me feel like I shouldn't have done it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm def I was definitely happy with it and I still am. When you did that, did you notice any speedometer or odometer error? Yes, it definitely needed to be adjusted. Flash pack, I think, is, okay. is what it's called, um, the tuner. I hooked that up to my, my truck and recalibrated, and now everything is perfect. But because the tire size is such that dramatic change, it put it off a good bit. It was like, I wanna say it was like 11 mile an hour, but I, I finally got it. Now it's spot on. So again, for suspension, you're running the Rough Country six inch suspension lift kit with the lifted struts and the V2 monotube shocks. We'd call this like an all-inclusive kit because it's got like the diff drop brackets, the cross members, the drive shaft spacer. Rough Country did say that there was some cutting required to fit this. Did you find that to be the case? How much, like how deep did you have to go for it? I did not do the install on the lift and, uh, but I know the guys that do that kind of stuff for me, as far as I know, it went as planned. 
We didn't have any issues with it after it was on. I went and got the truck aligned and everything was good. I know sometimes, I know some guys that have done that, the same steps, and after they got it aligned, things started to go wacky and they had to come back and try to figure out what was going on, but I didn't have any of those issues, so. So what made you go with the six inch then? Was it specifically to fit the larger wheels and tires or something else? Pretty much to fit the larger wheels and tires and I just, it's go big or go home with me. The biggest kit that I could find anywhere that was, you know, the full suspension was, is the six inch and it's, yeah, it's go big or go home. <laughs> It's safe to say then, once you got this all fitted, you didn't have any issues with the, no rubbing issues or anything like that, nothing. The only thing that I have that, that rubs is if I fully turn my wheel to the left and I am going up an incline where my left wheel is up and my right wheel is down, I get very little rub and it's on my flare because the flare has made the, the inside of the wheel well stick out a little bit. It, it just ca catches that corner. And I feel like it's gonna rub off enough eventually that it's gonna stop doing it. <laughs> and it's not anything that's uh, that you can even see from outside of the vehicle. You actually have to get your head down in the wheel well to even see where it's rubbing. It, all it does is makes a little rubbing noise for like a second, because it's just that initial getting up and then it, it kind of levels out and it's fine. How would you compare this to your stock setup? How's it ride, things like that? I mean, I've had lifted trucks, some trucks very similar to this. I think it rides awesome. Like I, my other, my last vehicle that I still have is my 2000 Excursion, and it's pretty much the setup is pretty similar compared to that. This thing rides like a Cadillac. Now, from stock to this, it's definitely a difference, but not as much as most people would think. It's not bad, and I, I'm very happy with it. Knowing what you know now, having the truck, you've had it for a little while in this setup. Is there anything that you would do differently? Honestly, I don't think so. I mean, my next step that's going to go on here is I'm putting a supercharger on it, but that's a little bit down the road. But yeah, I mean, other than that, right now, as it stands, I'm very happy. All right, Skyler, so thank you so much for being here with me today, talking about the truck. I, I think it looks great. I think you got a really cool setup here, so appreciate your time. And to recap ev for everyone again, Skyler is driving a 2010 Ford F-150 with the FX4 package. It's a four-wheel drive truck with the 5.4 Triton V8. For wheels, he's got the fuel cleavers in gloss black. They are 20 by 10s with a negative 18 millimeter offset, making for a very aggressive stance. His tires are the Aturo Trailblade XT Multi-Terrains in 35 by 12 and a half. And for suspension, he's running the Rough Country 6-inch suspension lift kit with the lifted struts and the V2 monotube shocks. So Skylar, thank you again so much for being here with me today. Thank you all for watching. And remember, for all things F-150, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.